yes hello kenyans welcome again to this channel i want to say thank you so much because of your great support i'm so much humbled mutai nguni is back again to hit william somoruto as you know that william somoruto so far is amongst the presidential candidate that is so much having a lot of impact when it comes to his politics across the republic of kenya and Mutai Nguni is coming out to put a lot of shame, bombshell, and a lot of reality when it comes to the politics of William Samuruto in Mount Kenya region. As you know that when William Samuruto decided to venture into the politics of Mount Kenya region, it was believed that William Samuruto is going to control Mount Kenya region 100% sure. But today I want us to look at the tweet of Mutai Nguni, trying to show Kikuyu's the truth of the matter when it comes to the politics of William Samuruto in Mount Kenya region. So without wasting time, I request with a humble heart, if of course you are a visitor, ensure that you subscribe to this channel, you put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified automatically by YouTube. Of course in this channel, uh, we analyze pure politics, we give our opinions and reasons the way we understand politics across the Republic of Kenya. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much, God bless you for your great support. Let us go back to the main issue. Why is it that Mutai Nguni has tweet this uh, tweet at the midst of William Samuruto's control in Mount Kenya region's politics? It has been believed that according to the allies of William Samurutos, those who are coming from Mount Kenya region, has been promising that William Samuruto is controlling the politics of Mount Kenya region. So I want us to read the tweet, then we analyze where possible. So Mutai Nguni's tweet says that Kalenjins are under William Samoe Ruto. Luos are under Raila Amolo Odinga. Uh, Kambas are under uh, Kalonzo Msioka and uh, Kikuyus are told to be ethnic uh, Kikuyus are being told that uh, to be ethnic is a bad thing then Mutai Nguni is asking how now I think Kenyans at times I do believe and I do agree with Mutai Nguni 100% sure the other time I remember when I was uh, preparing a certain video in this channel I told Kikuyus that be very careful with the politics of William Somuruto in Mount Kenya region. Some came into the comment section below and told me that uh, who am I to advise them. But Kenya, this is just opinion. According to the twist of Mutai Nguni, I think the reality is coming out. I want us to analyze this way. Kenyans, the truth shall remain that tribal or tribes shall remain still tribes in the Republic of Kenya. Of course, if you are a Luo, you will remain a Luo. If you are a Kikuyu, you will remain a Kikuyu. If you are a Kalenjin, you shall remain a Kalenjin. If you are a Kamba, you will remain a Kamba. Of course, and also on the other uh, tribes. The truth to be said, William Samuruto has come with a politics that has already confused some Mount Kenya region residents and of course voters. He has come out with a narrative saying that Kikuyus to believe and understand and to protect their kingpin, it is an issue of uh, tribalism. Yet when you go to uh, Rift Valley, Kalanjins are under William Samuruto. That is the truth and pure truth, politically speaking, and according to the tweet of Mutai Nguni. And I don't think if there is someone that can go and try to uh, humiliate William Samuruto in Rift Valley. Is there anyone? You can tell me, be sincere. Is there anyone who can go in Rift Valley, then start humiliating, mocking, and also doing insulting their leader, that is William Samuruto? I think you want to be beaten. Then go to Nyanza. Is there anyone, even William Samaruto, can go to Nyanza region, then insult Raila Molodinga? The, the Luz will just keep quiet? 
is this something that is uh, happening in Nyanza? I don't think it is not true. Can you go in Ukambani, then insult Kalonzo Msioka and their leaders? Then they will just keep quiet, listening to you, clapping to you. I don't think if this is happening. But what is happening with Mount Kenya region? What is wrong with Kikuyus? You know you are accepting a stranger to come and control your politics. At times I love the way Raila Molodinga has been carrying himself when it comes to the politics of Mount Kenya region. You know he is looking forward to, uh, for support in Mount Kenya region, but the criteria that Raila Molodinga is using is that he is using those leaders that were elected by the people of uh, uh, Mount Kenya region, of course Kikuyus. He is using these local leaders to try to convince them because Raila Molodinga do respect these local leaders, do respect their kingpin Uru Kenyatta, and do respect their leadership. I have not seen anywhere where other candidates that are vying for any presidency has come out saying that Mount Kenya region is their bedroom, that Mount Kenya region is their area, the way William Samuru has been claiming. It means that when it comes to the politics of William Sumaruto, he's not a sincere guy. Why are you telling Kikuyus that you are tribal? Your political parties are tribal. Yet, your political party that is UDA is so much dominated by Kalenjins. This political party of UDA party is pure a political party from Rift Valley. And I request with a humble heart, as the way Mutai Nguni is requesting Kikuyus, that Kikuyus wake up, wake up. You should not be told that uh, when you stand for your leadership, or even you say that Uhuru Kenyatta is your leader, then they're saying you're tribal. When you have your political parties, it's being called tribal political parties that is causing a lot of tribalism. According to me, I don't think if William Samaruto is fair, because Kalenjins is being led by William Samaruto himself. You cannot, you cannot, you, oh my God, you cannot go and insult William Samaruto in Rift Valley. Go, I want you to try one day, go and insult William Samaruto before the Kalenjins. I want to say you will face whatever you have never faced before. Go to Nyanza, you will face the way you will never, you, you can't insult Raila Moludinga in Isiaya, you cannot insult Raila Moludinga in Kisumu, you cannot insult Raila Moludinga in Homa Bay. You cannot insult Raila Moludinga in Migori. You cannot insult Raila Moludinga in Nyanza region. Because they believe that whoever is always carrying their agendas, their interest is Raila Moludinga. The same same William Samaruto that is lying to Kikuyus, telling them that drop those tribal political parties so that we can enter into this UDA party. That UDA party is not tribal, yet UDA party has been known as a political party belonging to Kalenjins. And I want you to wait till William Samaruto capture power. Then you will believe and trust whatever Mutai Nguni is coming out with. And of course, according to my opinion, I think this man Mutai Nguni is at times right. Because I don't think if William Samaruto is fair with Kikuyu. And again, I wonder, Kikuyu has been, Kikuyu nation have been uh, Kikuyus have been people that has been when it comes to their politics they have been sensitive I wonder why is it that now in 2022 they're being confused with someone called William Samaruto why are you being confused why are you being told you are tribal when you support your leader is it fair that you endorse someone that has for example then Kipchumba Murkomen come to Elgeo Marakwet, then come into Mount Kenya region, then told, tell you that uh, you should drop these uh, tribal political parties that are causing ethnic uh, issues. Oh my God, I want to ask my question here. If it is so, why is it that no one is going to insult William Samaruto? William Samaruto is going to insult even Huru Kenyatta in his backyard, Kiambu County. Kikuyus are uh, uh, opening their mouth, clapping, saying that hustler, hustlers are to Pangwingwi. You mean you are serious? You mean you are serious? 
this man William Samaruto has already succeeded with his trick, divide and rule, and he has managed it, causing a lot of division in Mount Kenya region. Go into Nyanza, people are blocked there, understanding their leader Raila Murudinga. Go to William Samaruto's backyard. They are full behind William Samaruto. Then Kenyans, Kikuyus are being told that you should not be, uh, you should not endorse Uru Kenyatta as your kingpin. Really, really, Kikuyus wake up, or else you are going to be pangwad. Munaenda kupangwa vizuri, and already musha pangwa. And the truth to be said. And if William Samurutu is going to capture power with this division that he has made into Mount Kenya region, you will never get power anywhere. You will never get power anywhere. And I want to tell you, you will not. You will just see power in Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, or all those medias. And that is the truth. So what are your thoughts? You can drop your thoughts and reasons at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to stay saying thank you so much because of your great support. For those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For those who are visitors, subscribe. So thank you so much. God bless you till we meet on another video. Bye-bye.